Good evening and welcome to the evening portion of Midweek Manna. I hope you've had a wonderful Wednesday thus far. And tonight we're going to talk about hope is expecting the best is yet to come. This morning we talked about hope as being something that is possible with God. Sometimes we don't know what hope is going to do. So listen to this devotion for the day. None of us have ever woken up and thought, I hope I have a terrible day today. We might expect to have a bad day or worry about having a bad day, but these emotions are not hope. Hope is believing God works all things for our good. Hope is believing that God works all things for our good. In Luke 1, 39 through 56, Mary writes a song about the amazing things God has done and will do, expecting that the best is yet to come. She writes this after going to visit Elizabeth, whom God promised would be pregnant in her old age. Mary's song is not blind optimism, but the song of a woman who has hope. There's a difference between having hope and having a wish. Wishing is an optimistic thought that doesn't require any action. Hope is about trust. Hope is about trust. Wishing the store will have your favorite flavor ice cream when you get there is just a thought. Hope is calling the head, learning it is in stock, then trusting the manager to put it aside for you. Our hope is only as valuable as the person or thing in which we place it. God cannot lie. So when God makes a promise, we can be sure it will come true. Mary's life was not always easy. Remember she got pregnant when she was very uh, young and uh, God told her she could have a child and that child turned out to be Jesus. And when Jesus was born, she had no idea that 33 years later, she would witness her son's crucifixion on the cross. And when Jesus died, Mary didn't know God would come back to life. I'm sorry, that Jesus would come back to life. But seeing God's faithfulness in the past is what gave her confidence that no matter her circumstances, she could put her hope in God. That's what gives us hope as well. We aren't just optimistic that the best is yet to come. Like Mary, we can have hope that the best is yet to come because our God says it is. And God always keeps God's word. It's amazing to see how hope can indeed be a part of our life as Christ followers. Hope is about looking at God and trusting God to do the impossible. That is what hope is about. So this week I ask you to uh, reflect on this question. Do you have a hard time believing God will do what God says God will do? You know, sometimes we pray and, and when those prayers are answered, we wonder, is this really for real? But you just prayed about it. You trusted God to do it. You hoped that God would hear you and you hoped that God would be with you. And you hoped that God will give you the promises of God's heart and of your heart. So trust in God. Remember the best is yet to come. Remember that with God all things are possible. Will you pray with me? Gracious God, I thank you for this day and for hope in you. Knowing that when we hope in you, God, all things are possible. That when we hope in you, God, the promise that you pro provide for us will indeed come to light. God, be with those that listen to this message or this devotion this day and remind them, God, of the hope that they have in you. They can trust in you. They can trust your word. And that's where hope comes in. Thank you for this time of devotion. Thank you for this time of hearing us. God, I ask you to be with those that are going through challenges right now, physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual. God, we have people who have uh, having challenges with grief in that life. God, be with them. People who are dealing with health issues, God, be with them. Remind us, God, that in you all things are possible. Remind us, God, that you are the great healer. You are the great physician. You are the one that can touch us from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet. So, God, I answer you with just be with all of us. Make your presence known in and around us. Remind us, God, that you are always there. In Christ's name, amen. 
Be blessed this day. I pray you have a good rest of the day. And don't forget, hope in God means that the trust in God is there as well. Take care. Bye-bye.